Hi, my name is PJ Black. I'm a professional wrestler and extreme athlete. And this is my little buddy, Tokyo. Say hi. <laughs> I'm a, I've always been in, into extreme sports. I, I grew up surfing, used to ride motocross. Um, when I was 16, I, just, I became a professional wrestler full time. I, I grew up with a lot of dogs. Uh, lots of, I grew up in Africa, so I'm a big animal lover. I've always had dogs. But you know how it goes, you know, you lose one that, that you get really close to. And for years, I, I didn't want another dog because I didn't want to go through that. And I travel a lot. I'm on the road 300 days a year usually. And that's actually how I uh, found this guy. I was on the road in Atlanta <laughs> and uh, the promoter's kids brought this puppy to uh, the show and then they brought him home. I guess, I guess his mom and dad live on a farm in Atlanta and they had uh, 13 puppies. He was one of, of 13 puppies and they had 13 puppies three or four times. So they had an abundance of dogs running around the farm. So obviously the kids brought them to school and to wrestling shows to give to other kids. And uh, when I saw him, I was like, wow. Um, I, had a, I had another show there the following weekend, which was on my birthday. And I just took him, I took him on the plane, brought him back to LA and he's been my best buddy ever since. <laughs> I'm a massive fan of the Japanese culture. Tokyo is one of my favorite cities on the planet. I have traveled to 65 different countries for wrestling and Tokyo has always been one of my favorites. So I, I, we actually made a list of names and it was ended up being between Mark Anthony and Tokyo. And we, <laughs> we went with Tokyo. <laughs> He has actually been to a few wrestling matches when we did the, the bar wrestling shows in, in downtown LA. He actually came down to the ring with me. He joined me for my entrance. At the time I was tagging with Taya. She just signed a deal. She's on NXT. Um, her name is Frankie Monet, I think it is. And she actually comes to the ring with her dog, which is a little Pomeranian. His name is Presley. And Presley and Tokyo are really good friends. They wrestle each other. He's, I mean, he's, you'll see a different side of him in the wrestling ring because like when I do yoga, that's a game to him. So anything that I do is a game to him. So if I go in the ring, it's, let's see, hopefully he's in that mood today. It'll be, it'll become a game really quick. <laughs> he's, he's got a lot of energy. He runs up and down and he plays with toys. Uh, so for the longest time, we thought that he didn't like to play fetch or play with toys or anything like that. But then one day we found a small tennis ball that he could fit into his mouth and it was game over. Now, now ball is life. <laughs> he loves it. I love LA because it's a very dog friendly city. I've taken him to movie theaters, I've taken him to shows, to concerts, he's been to wrestling shows, he's been all over. Like Most restaurants in LA are dog friendly, luckily. And uh, you know, he's become such an LA pup. Like he loves going out to restaurants and like he's so smart and he can sit on my lap like this while I'm eating and he will never say anything, he'll never bark and I can feed him like this. He's so chill, he's so well behaved. He's probably the most well-behaved dog I've ever had in my life. I think he'll be such a cute dad. I think it'll be awesome to watch him with a little family. Because watching him play with other dogs, he just loves other dogs. He will go to the park and he'll play with big dogs, little dogs. Even if the dog is trying to attack him, he'll, the little chihuahua in him will come out and he'll bark back, but he'll still want to play. He's got quite a few friends that he wrestles with at the park. I think that's his favorite thing in the world, is going to the dog park. Because he's made so many friends. Like he's, he has two girlfriends and two boyfriends and they come over to the house all the time to play. He has more friends than I do actually. People say when you have kids, it'll change your life, right? And he's legit like my kid. I, I, don't, I don't plan on ever having kids, so he's the closest thing I'll have to that 
that unconditional love connection. You know, I'm too busy for kids. I always said I was too busy for dogs, but when I found him, I wasn't gonna leave him in Atlanta. I mean, dogs are just pure love, right? The pure unconditional love. I don't think any human on this planet is capable of pure unconditional love, but all dogs are. So